Good morning, my name is Lawson Mosley and I'm a sixth generation Florida farmer and cattle producer. Um, and on our farm we produce corn, cotton, soybeans, grass crops, and cattle. And the question I'm answering is how do farmers make their seed choices? And that's something, it's a very complex question and it's a little bit different for every farmer. But on our farm and on most farms, the main factors that we look at are the cost of the seed itself, but then the factors that greatly outweigh that are the production level that's possible with the seeds that we've selected. And this is a factor of the actual yield potential, how much corn per acre a certain variety can produce or how much cotton per acre a certain variety can produce. But then there are other factors such as disease resistance that we also add into this equation. Um, pest resistance, um, rate of growth in order to compete with weeds in the field better and decrease our herbicide use. And one of the big things that we look at is in some crops um, we have the BT gene that allows for pest resistance to corn earworm especially and the corn produces a protein that the earworm cannot digest and so it's toxic. So after consuming a very small amount, the earworm dies before it can cause major damage. Another major factor that's been beneficial is the Roundup Ready gene. Um, Roundup is a non-selective herbicide that, which means when you spray it, it kills most plants that it comes in contact with. And the Roundup Ready gene allows us to use Roundup in corn or cotton or soybeans or alfalfa and not harm the crop while killing the weeds that are present with only one chemical and often only one application. So that contributes to a decrease in the cost later in the season. So that, and that all is factors of the potential yield of a particular variety.